More than a million tourists visit the Sea of Galilee each year, but the biblical lake is shrinking after several years of drought. This is the same Sea of Galilee that Jesus walked on. Out on the lake, it looks like there's plenty of water, but in reality, it's a different situation. There are altogether 21 boats on the Sea of Galilee, and because the level of the water is so low, for example, in Genosar, instead of three piers, we use only one. Daniel Carmel owns two of those boats. He operates the Galilee worship boats and takes Christian groups out on the lake for a unique worship experience. They don't know how is the Sea of Galilee when it's full. This is the, the lowest that I ever saw. Uh, 25 years that I'm here, this is the lowest. Israel's rainy season begins in late October and continues until mid-March. After that, it usually doesn't rain. The lake is the main thing that characterizes, you know, our life here from every point of view. Although today, unfortunately, we cannot make our living from fishing. Uzi Velish was born in a kibbutz on the Sea of Galilee and has lived on Kibbutz Ginosar since it was founded in 1937. He's seen the lake at all different levels. When my first daughter was married, it was 93, it was very full. The wedding was on the lawn here in front of my house. You can see it, about 200 meters. Okay. It will come up to where the rocks. The rocks were put in there in the 70s to defend from, from the storm. You know, there was a storm, east storm, and the waves chopped the soil, so they built these rocks. He said trouble started before Israel was a state when the British built a dam. The moment you stop the Jordan, beginning to control. But only in 64, they added the big pumps that deliver the water from the Sea of Galilee to the south or to the middle of, the, of Israel. On top of that, Israel gives Jordan 50 million cubic meters of water a year as part of a 1994 peace agreement, and Jordan is asking for more. The lake has been low in the past and recovered like 30 years ago when the receding waters revealed a hidden treasure. This boat is really completely unbelievable. Dubbed the Jesus boat, the fishing vessel was like one Jesus' disciples would have used. Discovered by two brothers in the mud along the shores of the Sea of Galilee, it soon became a national sensation. That was really something. The whole state was a boat from 2,000 years ago. This is a, and with such a significance, you know, that really can be related to, to Jesus, you know. <laughs> Treasures aside, the Kinneret, as it's called in Hebrew, or the Sea of Galilee, used to be one of Israel's main sources of drinking water. Until not so long ago, uh, the Sea of Galilee was one of the three main natural sources that supplied water. Now it hardly supplies. Growing population, increasing demand, and a drop in the quantity of water have all contributed to the situation. The lake is more than 15 feet below the full line. In a rainy winter, it would normally rise about five and a half feet. Then it begins to evaporate again in the summer. But Israel Water Authority spokesman Uri Shor says when Israel saw the drought was prolonged, it stopped pumping into the main water system. We cut down the pumping there from about 400 million cubic meters per year to less than 30. And nevertheless, the level of the water of the Sea of Galilee continues going down. If the water level drops too low, the lake will become salty and it will never be able to be used for drinking water again. That's why Israel is trying a unique approach. Israel planned and started building uh, water carriers that will bring water from desalination plants to the Sea of Galilee in order to keep the level of the water high enough in order not to lose the Sea of Galilee as a drinking water pond. Shore said they can't fill the lake completely with desalinated water but they can fill it enough so as not to lose the quality of the water. I do not think that you have another lake in the world that um, people fill it with uh, man-made water in order not to lose it. So uh, we'll be pioneers about that as well. Shore said every 20 to 30 years, Israel gets enough rain to fully restore the Sea of Galilee, but they can't count on it. In addition to not pumping the water out and pumping desalinated water in, Carmel had this advice. Pray hard for rains. That's what we need, a lot of prayers. Pray for rains, even when you are here. <laughs>